Hi everybody and welcome back to some more Ride 2 here on this channel, I'm KPG Gooner here and in today's video guys we've got a special video for our final video of 2016. Now I did a race around Donington on one of the R2 category bikes, um, I think it was the Aprilia on a live stream and I only managed to get second, it was such a tough race. So I wanted to do for my final video of 2016, I'm going to take it on the track again and I'm going to try and win it. This time I've had a chance to tweak the bike. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to get a win. But it's going to be eight laps of pure speed and good throttle control, good braking. And this is one of my favourite bikes on the game, guys. You keep asking me, what bike do you um, favour? This has got to be at number one at the moment out of the bikes I've experienced on this game. It's got everything. It's got speed. It's got brilliant braking. The handling is absolutely superb. And I just could not say anything better about this bike. It is absolutely amazing. Right, we're going to get straight into this race. This is going to be really, really tough. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get a win. But it's our final video of 2016. So hopefully, I'm going to make it a really good one. So let's get straight into it, guys. So here we go. Also, guys, I'm going to show you the setup I'm using on this bike at the end of the video. I'd like to try and do that a bit more in 2017, so I'm going to show you the setup. But we're up against a strong field of Ducatis and RC8s. Uh, we're going to go with those settings, uh, anti-wheel median, that should be okay. Now let's get straight into this endurance race and hopefully get a win. Right, let's get straight into this race. Now, if you did watch that uh, live stream where I tried this race, it was such a battle between the RC8, I think, I do believe, and I just couldn't get him on the last lap. I'm hoping that's not going to happen again, and I'm going to settle him a little bit sooner, but this is such a tough race around this circuit over eight laps, so hopefully we can get a good start. Now it's all go, so let's try and dive into that first corner, slow it down, get a nice turn in. This setup feels pretty stable, so hopefully you will use it as well, guys. Right, let's try and nail it down the hill, let's try and get a good line, we're up to P5 already, that's a good start on this first lap, flip it over, right, dive into this corner, slow it down, slow it down, oh, bit of trail break in there, but managed to control it, but this bike's handling is superb, and I got away with it, and we're up to third place, now that's a brilliant start, but to over eight, la eight laps, you've got to be consistent in these races, so that's just trying to settle it down, don't overdo it, we've got plenty of time to get to the front, and third position is a good position to the hold on to at the start here for the first couple of laps let's just try and tuck in so we've got a Ducati out in front and an RC8 in front of us so the KTM is a difficult bike to beat around here another good handling bike so let's just try and slow it down try and get a nice turn into the chicane oh god a Ducati just flew right up the inside there and I had to just hold back there was nothing I could do about that straight across the grass and we've dropped a place, but we're still on the first lap, so I'm not gonna panic just yet. Let's just try and hold it into this corner, try and get a good drive. Let's go around the outside, and see you later, Ducati. You're not gonna beat me around those sort of corners, and I'm back into third place, but the two bikes in front have started to pull away, and I've got into there a little bit too hot, as I was going a little bit too fast, but we've managed to control it, and we've just gotta settle down. So that's the first lap out the way we do a 131.6 which is not too bad to start off with now i have done some cracking times around here i've done um a one low 127 um in a race round here so those are the sort of times i'm going to try and go for but i think they might not be as quick as that maybe 128 uh, we will have to see i think that might have been on the r1 category bike and not the r2 but uh, let's see if we can settle in into this second lap and see if we can start gaining on the two in front we've actually pulled away from the bikes behind which is absolutely brilliant now we can just concentrate with the bikes in front let's try and get a nice turn in there and we've caught up with the ktm oh i thought i could get past in there and look he's looking behind he knows i'm here now so he's going to probably be really defensive now into the corner so we're going to have to line him up and try and niggle and get past him if we can now we've tried to get around there a little bit quicker we just lost a bit of speed but i feel that we're doing okay i'm running pretty damn good pace let's try and slow it down let's try and get a nice line into here we've got no bikes coming up flying up the inside like the last lap onto the curb not as smooth as I'd like that is such a difficult chicane to get through um, but if you nail it you know it because you just absolutely rip through there and that's trying to slow it down and again I've gone into there a little bit too hot we need to get a little bit tight into that corner but luckily I've managed just to power out of that but this bike does have handle really well and just power out the corners pretty good so let's try and get a nice turn in there and we've gained a little bit of time again on this lap and let's try and get a nice drive over the finish line and that's the second lap out of the way 
and what we're doing for times we've just hit a 129.6 still not the sort of pace that i've done around here but i'm trying my best just to try and be consistent and just try and keep up with the two in front now that ducati out in front is a very very quick on the straights not sure what it's like in the corners around here but it is holding the lead so we're going to have to try and just match him for every single corner we've got to take a little bit more time and that was a little bit uh, faster through there and we're starting to gain on the uh, the uh, ktm here can we get past him here let's try and line him up and get past him in these slow corners flip it over trying to be good on the brakes as well that was a superb corner there and again he's looking he's thinking oh my god he's going to try and take me in the corner can i get past him here trying to go neck and neck with him there but he's really holding a decent speed there and he's managed to hold on to it oh my god that was close but uh, this ktm is so good in the corners you've got to really get a good line right let's slow it down into this chicane again try and get a nice speed through there that was much better just had to hold the brakes on to uh, then so i didn't crash straight into the ktm and we are really really starting to pick up speed here but oh actually we dropped a bit of time on that split time i was I'm expecting that to be pretty damn quick but we've managed to get a good drive around that corner right we need to go up the inside if we want to get past him here let's try and be nice and careful oh god a bit gone down he's touched my back wheel oh i thought i was going to come off there but just managed to stand it up that was a really, really risky pass, but I've managed just to nail it. And we get the fastest lap of the race as well. And no, oh, the KTM's going to dive up the inside. He's going to take a good line here. That's just try and get back up the inside of him there. Oh, my God, I've got a bow here with the RCA. And he's looking again. He knows he can control me if he can just hold me in front. He's trying to be really defensive. And I've shot past him in that section. So he didn't get a chance to control that next corner. Yes, we've passed the KTM, but we've got to try and hold on to it. We've got the Ducati just pulling away in front as well. This has been a really fast-paced race so far. We're on the full flap, so we're halfway through. And uh, so far, it's been the sort of race I thought it would be. It'd be really, really neck and neck, really fast. And I can't afford to make any mistakes. And we've just hit a little bit faster at that split point. So on this lap, we're doing really well. But I can hear that KTM, that um twin engine behind me and i've got to be careful i don't make any mistakes so let's slow it down into the chicane and just be careful it doesn't dive up the inside oh god went into there really tight almost went straight into the ducati there but again showed really good control because the brakes on this uh, aprilia are very very damn good and you, you can really really crack them on and it feels very very good so let's try and get a nice turn into there not as tight as i'd like it but it's good enough uh we're going towards the end of this fourth flap and we're still in contention maybe to get the victory that i want for my last video of 2016 that would be awesome but like i said guys if you watch that stream i did live it's not easy on the last lap you tend to get a little bit twitchy and we're just putting a little bit of a faster time there still not the sort of pace i'd like but we've managed to dive up the inside we've got past the ducati but can we hold on to it so we're up we're in the lead on the fifth lap and we just need to be really, really strong here and try and be really defensive and stop him from coming up the inside. I can see the marker. Is he going to try and dive up the inside here as I slow down? No, I managed to hold it and I'm controlling the lead here. So we're on the fifth lap. We've still got loads of laps to go. So this is going to be really, really tough going into those final laps, trying to hold the lead on this circuit. But I'm going to try my best. But I find that the AI seems to be pretty damn quick around Donington, uh, much faster than they were on Bride 1. That's one improvement. I have noticed I used to absolutely control the races um, around this circuit on ride one but on this one on ride two I haven't been as dominant but so we're holding on to the lead and in this race at the moment but are we going to hold it through this section this is where they like diving up the inside the Ducati is faster on the straight let's try and hold it there he's going to come around the outside is he going to take the inside line oh god a bit of contact there we've made contact oh my god don't come off the back oh my god I almost came off the back but I've managed just to settle down oh god a Ducati went into the side of me and flew off oh my god loads and loads of chaos there and we've dropped down to p3 but we're still on the bike and we're still on the fifth lap so there's still time to react but oh my god that ducati really threw me out there and we made oh quite a lot of contact there i'm surprised he managed to control it but it was the rc8 that managed to the ktm managed to get into the lead and that's the bike that's controlling this race at the moment on this and we're now we're on the sixth lap so we've got three laps to go guys can i come back from this and try and win it but we have lost a lot of time he's about to two seconds in front of us so we're gonna have to try and really really go for it now so let's just try and get a little bit closer on this lap and hopefully on the seventh and eighth lap we can really react and that was a lot quicker through there and that's the quickest we've been through to that point so we have reacted straight away and that's what you want to 
in these sort of races. So let's just try and get it up the inside here. Ooh, a bit of contact again. Try to be really, really safe. Oh, God, well, that was a good move there. And we think we just passed the Ducati. What a little move there. Oh, guys, this has been an awesome race so far. But what I might do, guys, I might do a little highlights video at the end of this video after I showed you the setup just to show you how close this race has been. That's if I can finish with it without being knocked off. Right, let's try now this section here. Try and be nice and smooth. Don't lose it. Oh, that was much better. The Ducati didn't get up the inside there and make uh, me go uh, wider, and I managed just to pull back. But the KTM is starting to pull away. We need to start to really go for it here. We need to start putting in those faster laps if we want to win this race. We've got two laps to go. Guys, can we get a win here? For the last video of 2016, I'm trying my best to go really, really tight into the corners and hold the speed. I'm getting really twitchy now. I know one mistake will cost me this race completely, and we've just put in a faster time, so we're definitely getting the fastest laps. We're just not quick enough to win the race at the moment. Right, hold it through there. That was nice and smooth. And we just pulled away from the Ducati behind, so the Ducati's dropped off the pace. And it looks like it's going to be, again, for the second time, me against the KTM. So that's the challenge I've got in front of me. And that's the challenge I'm going to take up and try and complete in this race today. Right, that's getting his slipstream. We know that we've got a little bit more pace through some of these corners than he has. And dive to the side there. Let's try and get a nice line holding the speed. But this bike feels absolutely superb in the corners. So you can really go nice and tight in. And it feels really comfortable. And again, holding the speed. And we're slightly faster at that split point. So this looks like to be our fastest lap of the race. And well, boy, did we need this going into the final lap. Is it going to be one of those races which I take on the final lap? Or am I going to stuff it up? Who knows? Right, slow it down here. Try and get a nice turn into there. Not as smooth as I'd like, but we kept it on the tarmac. And again, that RCA is showing how bloody good it is in the corners. Look at it. Absolutely ripped through that section. Uh, but we're still running our fastest time at the moment. Let's try and get a nice turn in there. A little bit too wide. Uh, that did cost us a bit of time there. But we've managed just to try and get a good drive out there. Can we just finish this lap really strong? Going into the final lap. We're getting nice and close to the KTM. Going to the final lap. That's getting his slipstream here. And see if we can get past him. Going into the final lap. And we've just done the uh, fastest lap of the race. But we still need to go a little bit faster if we want to win this race. So let's try and get a nice turn into this corner. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And we're in the lead. Can we finish off in style? But we know that KTM is going to take a few risks here to try and get back past. We just need to hold on to it. Right, try and hold the speed through that section. Slow it down. Oh, God, we lost a bit of time as we slowed down through there. But we're trying to be really, really safe as well. I don't want to lose it on the last lap. But also, I've got to try and keep the, the pace up because that KTM will go past me if I slow down in too many of these corners. Trying to hold the speed there. Again, the KTM's caught up slightly. We've got to be careful. I can hear that engine behind me. And we've dropped a bit more time, but only just... We're not losing that much time, only a little bit just to be on the safe side. Right, we've got to nail this now, guys. This has to be it. We can't afford another muck up here. Right, slow it down. We've got to be nice and smooth. Let's get nice and tight. Flip it over. Good drive. Oh, that was the best we've done it, I think, in a while. And we've managed just to keep that front wheel down. But we've got the KTM sitting right behind us going into the final couple of corners. And we have gained a bit of time there. So this could be our fastest lap of the race as well, guys, for the final lap. And that might see us to a victory. Again, that wasn't the quickest round there, but I'm going to take it if I can just nail this last corner. Right, slow it down. The KTM's right behind me. I can see the marker. Please don't go up the inside and accelerate. Coming to the line here. I think we're going to do it, guys. And we're going to get the fastest lap of the race. Um, no, it wasn't the fastest lap of the race. But we took a victory. And that was awesome, guys. I managed to do it. Our final video of 2016. And what a race it was. Loads and loads of action. Loads of passes. Lo loads of mistakes as well. But over eight laps on endurance races, you're bound to make the odd mistake here and there as long as you can recover. And I did just that. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. We're going to jump in and have a look at the, the setup that I've used in today's video. And then we're going to do a little bit of a highlight video uh, after that, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Please give this video a thumbs up. So let's get into the setup now, guys, and have a look. So here we go. 
Right, let's jump into having a look at the settings we've used on the bike in today's video. Now these are the settings I used and I found this was the best settings for this bike. It felt absolutely superb. Uh, turning into corners, under braking. I didn't change any of the uh, gear ratio of any of the gears. I found that it was fine and I didn't change the handlebars. I've just left them at the settings that they start on. Uh, and it was just absolutely brilliant, guys. I cannot fault that setup. I hope you use it. And I just want to say thank you again for all the support in 2016. I hope you carry on supporting the channel in 2017. Now, I've left you a highlights video with a bit of music. I hope you enjoy it. Like I said, please give this a thumbs up. And I will see you in the new year with some more racing here on this channel. I'm KPG Guna, and I will see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.